Welcome back, everybody. Lately, I've been thinking a lot about the recipes that I grew up enjoying in Pennsylvania. Halushki. I haven't had it in probably 35 years, 40 years. I don't know. We're going to try to make it today on the Blackstone Griddle. When I think of halushki, I kind of pair it in my mind with a pierogi. So something that takes the staples like flour and butter and stuff like that, right? So the way we had it growing up was onions, cabbage, egg noodles, and sometimes kielbasa. So I'm gonna start out with some olive oil. Of course, growing up, this wouldn't have been olive oil. It probably would have been Crisco, lard, or whatever other inexpensive cooking oil was available down with onion and i'm gonna immediately add shredded cabbage this cabbage is actually left over from my permani brothers video make sure you're watching that blackstone youtube launch today todd makes a permani brothers copycat sandwich for the super bowl he did mainly kielbasa in our recipe okay but today, I'm also gonna add bacon because I've been watching lots of Polish folk cook this online recently. And a lot of people do bacon or bacon and kielbasa. I'm actually gonna turn this burner off all together. So speaking of taking a walk down memory lane, I just pulled this out of one of my cooking pantries. Shout out to Madrid, my subscriber from Merced. I believe he lives in Merced, uh, California. He visited me on the Griddlemore tour a couple of years. In 2019, 2020, brought me this one of the years. It's a sweet, he works for UPS. And uh, if you go way back, you can see me drinking out of this thing like four years ago. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put my kielbasa in with the bacon. When I was a kid growing up, of course, they didn't call it kielbasa. They pronounced it kielbasi. And they'd always say, do you want some kielbasi? I'm actually 100% Polish. Actually, probably more like 150% Polish. I was adopted as a baby, and my birth mom and birth dad are Polish, and my adoptive mom was Polish. So 150% Polish, I just don't know the language or anything, but I was Born and raised on polka music and all that fun stuff. All right, so egg noodles. Uh, growing up, my mother, I think she made her halushki mainly with bow tie noodles, you know, bow tie pasta. But, you know, I've been watching a lot and it seems like people really like egg noodle. So for what it's worth, my mother did like egg noodles a lot and she used them in her chicken soup. You can watch me making that on my Let's Give It a Try show. I have not forgot about the butter growing up. It was a lot of butter. So we're going to put the butter in here towards the end. Since I'm on a griddle, right? I'm not contained in a skillet, in a frying pan. So I'm just going to chop up my butter. I don't remember how she seasoned it, but more than likely it was salt and pepper. I love garlic, but that came more from my Italian dad. And uh, I don't remember them using a lot of garlic in the Polish cooking. So salt and black pepper. We're probably in that 13 to 15 minute range, so we're gonna put this on a platter. All right, over to the table. It was out of curly parsley, that's the kind of parsley we uh, consumed growing up. I don't think we knew what flat leaf parsley was, so. But I have some flat leaf left in the refrigerator, so I'm gonna go down with some flat leaf. And this is definitely not a Polish thing. This is <laughs> more my Italian side. But I thought uh, some Asiago had some in the refrigerator, and I just think a little bit of uh, grated Asiago on top would really hit the spot. Halushki, baby, on the Blackstone griddle. I definitely don't see a lot of people making this online. I don't know why I waited so long. I know it's gonna be good. Take a look at that. Or in Pittsburgh, I guess they would say, Yins, take a look at that. Let's give it a try. Been a long time. Tastes exactly the way I remember it tasting in my mind's eye 
40 years elapsed, right? So it's got, you know, a foreign flavor. I don't eat a lot of pasta and cabbage combined. So there's that aspect to it. Of course, I'm very familiar with kielbasa and it's comfort food. I mean, what's not to like? It's amazing. And I really like the Asiago on there at the end as well. I can see you doing a lot of different variations on this. Maybe some red pepper flakes in there as well. So, so good. And if you're not into cabbage, don't worry about it. You're not getting like an overpowering flavor of cabbage. We cooked that cabbage down pretty well. So it's in there, but the cabbage doesn't scream out at me. I just get a beautiful flavor of something that's savory. Please leave me a thumbs up down below. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know if you grew up eating halushki, especially if you grew up out east like where I did, Pennsylvania, Ohio, you know, parts of Chicago, Wisconsin, etc. Let me know down below. Also be watching my Let's Give It A Try show every darn Saturday on YouTube. It's Blackstone's YouTube channel. Today we have a brand new Pramani Brothers sandwich. So thanks for watching everybody. I sure do hope that you enjoyed this. Praise the Lord and pass the halushki. Yins bet your kabooski. I just made some halushki. Thank you.